Welcome back everybody, my name is Philip and today I found something. I'm never really one to read the change logs that come together with updates in Photoshop and if you know you're watching this channel quite often then you know I'm using Photoshop a lot. So this time I randomly spotted an update from October this year 2021 where you and I obviously can change our whole style of images, for instance the seasons, in one click. I know, sounds ridiculous, it's not. Check it out. So here we are in Photoshop and as I was just starting to edit this really cool image from the Königssee in Germany, I somehow stumbled upon, and check it out, you're gonna go to the top to Filter and there to Neutral Filters. Now hitting that will open up another dialog system and here I do recommend to actually check this stuff out, but what we're gonna talk about today is the Landscape Mixer. So what does it do? Well essentially it combines an image or the style of an image and some textures with yours. There are some, let's call them presets, so you have a couple of images in the top right here available for you. So if I wanted to turn my photo into a winter scene, I can literally click on the winter image and my whole scene just turned winter. What? If the effect is too strong for you, you can simply reduce the strength on the strength slider. So for instance, if I drag that down to 77, it's just literally gonna put on less snow in my image. Cool. Now it gets wild because you cannot just change the season, but you can also change the time of day. So obviously this image was taken around midday, but if I hit the full sunset power, then you get this really cool artistry, well, sunset looking image. Alternatively, if winter is not your style, you can also click on this sunsetty, sort of really fleshy green image. And suddenly your image becomes sort of the oasis of the jungle, apparently. To mix things really up, we could now add a dash of autumn and maybe a touch of a sunset. At the bottom half of that panel, you can also switch between the original and what you have just created. How cool, with just basically no clicks? If you don't want to apply this style of these sort of pre-selected images to your photos, you can also upload your own pictures and apply the style of your own pictures to anything that you're editing at this time. So if you're wondering, how does it do that? It is replacing parts of your image with textures and probably other pieces of other photos. Check it out. If we zoom in on this um, little monument here in the front, like so, you can see if I go to the original, there are things that you can read, right? If I go to the edited version, there are things that you can't read anymore because the software applied a texture to it. Similarly, if we look at the grass simply in the corner here, if I go to the original and I go back to the edited version, you'll find that it is actually completely different grass, not my grass in the original image anymore. And similarly, if we look at the mountains in the background right here, if we go to the original, you can actually see this is an you know autumn tree range if you want. And if we go to the edited version, this is probably a different mountain, right? As a result of overlaying these textures onto my image, and my image is extremely high resolution, I actually lose resolution as I edit images with this function, right? So if we again go to the original and just look at this thing here, I can very clearly read and see the texture of that particular object, but then after the editing, we lose some detail. So for me, uh, that's the main reason, this particular function is fun and really cool to get ideas and things like that, but I'm not sure if I can use it just yet because I lose quality in my photos. However, obviously this is still in testing. So as you can see on the right hand side bottom, you have the are you satisfied with the results question to which you can say yes or no. So make sure that you try that every time you do that because you know we, we may actually help get this stuff developed properly because it's pretty cool and pretty handy. And that's the point. This is still in development and that's why I'm saying, can you change your seasons with one click in Photoshop? Well, apparently you can, but there are some setbacks. Altogether, pretty neat. I definitely recommend checking it out. And I'm also looking forward to dive into these other functions that are here on the right. Let's see. Once you created your thing, you can decide what the output should be. Should it be a new layer, the current layer, and so on and so forth. I'll go for new layer, hit OK, and change the season of my image dramatically. Pretty cool, right? Now, will I use this in my daily editing going forward? Probably not yet. I'll give it some more time until the whole thing can be properly developed so that I know a little bit more what it's doing with my images and that I have some more control. I will, however, give feedback whenever I can, whenever I play around with it, and I encourage you to do the same thing. Awesome, I hope you did like this little checking out session. If you did like the video, do not forget to hit the thumbs up button, and also if you are new, don't forget to subscribe, as it's gonna help me out a lot. I shall see you after Christmas, and until then, have a good one. Bye.